What should we mean by the term personalised medicine? Individuality can be understood in terms of self-consciousness, but also intersubjectivity, in addition to the way that we are individuated in terms of our bodies. How might these distinctions make a difference to the way that private enterprise and publicly funded research pursue biomarker-based personalised medicine? Can a competitive environment shaped by private enterprise, which is focused on biomarker-based personalised medicine, incorporate a more nuanced sense of value? So on the one hand, can we have a, a sense of shareholder value which incorporates both dividends and profits and an interest in the complexity of individuality, self-consciousness, social togetherness, uh, so that patient value is, is complexified in, in personalised medicine and incorporating into that uh, the rich sense of theological personhood which is at the centre of, of this research. We're also interested in how we can preserve the soul of healthcare in a socialised healthcare system. How can we preserve that spirit of service between doctor, nurse, medical scientist, pharmaceutical company and patient and also think about solidarity in risk and data sharing and stratification which can guide forward the enterprise of personalised medicine in a really healthy way. So that's where we are also concerned about the way that public trust and confidence in personalised medicine can be undermined by overhyping, overinflating the expectations of the public. So one of our tasks is to think about how we can discipline public conversation about personalised or precision medicine in such a way as to promote better partnership, better togetherness, better uh, engagement between uh, the wider population and those who are engaged in, in biomarker-based personalised medicine. A further question for us is how ought private enterprise relate to public health insurance schemes? In particular, we're interested in how, given political will, questions of joint and individual responsibility might be carefully handled, carefully developed and institutionalised, tracking the kind of questions that personalised medicine uh, raises. So what are our goals in this research? We want to establish a greater sense of subtlety about the way that the ethos of private enterprise can relate to the expectations of the public, public trust in the kind of promises that personalised medicine uh, is making and a greater sensitivity to the kind of individual values, individual consciousness and sense of solidarity uh, which underlies a, a socialised healthcare system. We also want to try and think about how to mitigate the risk to public trust and expectations which can come from uh, certain commercial pressures which might overpromise and underplay uh, uh, certain risks associated with personalised medicine. Theologically, our goal is to distinguish between uh, two things. On the one hand, perhaps lying behind certain of the uh, policy and marketing of biomarker-based personalised medicine, there is a sense that this life is the last chance. And yet, in terms of the patient perspective, this may well not be uh, the case. And so to be attentive to theological and religious approaches to healthcare will help to actually bring the kind of complexity regarding the goals of, of personalised medicine which will actually enable that enterprise uh, to flourish. We're very grateful to the British Academy and the Institutional Strategic Support Fund uh, funded by the Wellcome Trust here in Oxford for supporting the research we're doing so we can build partnerships between humanities, social sciences, medical sciences and various public bodies.